Hello YouTube, this is the Rabid Pancake, um, making a video about Halloween since it's coming around to that time of year. I figured that I would do a, uh, a video on Halloween. Now, I haven't done a whole lot of research on this, so I'm just going to shoot from the hip and talk about what I know about the holiday, so to speak. Okay, so, um, I personally don't celebrate Halloween at my church. They are doing an event called Trunk or Treat. Not sure what that's about. Now, when I lived in Nevada, they did an event called the King's Fair, which is basically, they had a bunch of games and uh, people would get candy for those games. And, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun and people were allowed to dress up. Now, I don't agree with that. I would never do that. That didn't stop me from going one year. But, um, um, yeah, anyway, um, uh, Halloween is probably the most pagan holiday of the year um uh, a lot of satanic rituals take place on Halloween um a lot of the Roman or Greek gods uh have birthdays on Halloween um, and someone always gets hurt on Halloween or someone always dies um, and I'm not sure if it's a conspiracy theory or not but um, I guess some people uh, get kidnapped and murdered on Halloween as a satanic ritual. Um, and that sounds somewhat valid, but, um, you know, who knows what you can believe these days. Um, so, uh, one of the things that I wanted to touch on is that Halloween is celebrating death. You have skulls everywhere. You got children dressing up as Freddy Krueger. You got children dressing up as Satan or um, Scream. You got all these horrible costumes um there's fake blood there's that's definitely giving satan to or sorry giving power to satan um if uh anything happens if anything goes wrong on Halloween, it's because 
you are inviting spirits into your house by participating in that garbage. Now, um, the jack-o'-lantern, you know, people think it's all fun to, you know, decorate your house and you make jack-o'-lanterns and, um, it's not all innocent fun. It is very pagan, um, the jack-o'-lantern actually stands for, um, giving power to Satan, um, so you are definitely inviting Satan into your home when you are celebrating Halloween. You, uh, one of the main things that people dress up as on Halloween, or maybe not the main thing, but one of the things people dress up as for Halloween uh, is uh, wizards and warlocks and witches, right? Well, um, the Bible forbids uh, witchcraft. And, um, a lot of people will probably debate that, uh, that, you know, I'm being legalistic or, or uh, that I am, you know, just trying to uh, ruin everyone's fun, but, um, no, nothing could be further from the truth. As a matter of fact, if that's what you're gonna say, then, uh, we should all go play with Ouija boards. If that's the case, we should play with tarot cards and, uh, you know, uh, 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 research the Zodiac. And I know a lot of people say that, um, oh no, the Zodiac isn't demonic. Um, the Zodiac is, it, just telling us, you know, what we are and how we, you know, that it's God's place to say who and what we are. Um, it is not for us to decide our own destiny. Um, scripture says that God has allowed you to be here at this place and time. Um, and I'm going to end it there. Most people, I want to hear our... I want to see comments in uh, the description. Let me know what you think. Um, let me, um, you know, be honest. Let me know what you think. Um, give this a, give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It would mean a lot to me. Um, 
please rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, uh, I'll say the blessings. Um, uh, let's see. Deuteronomy 6.24 um, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And as always, Grace and peace to you from our Father God, and um, God bless you.